Today is the day for the big announcement. Uh, my book finally went up on Manning. Uh, you can see it here. It's called Learn Rust in a Month of Lunches. And uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So it went up um, went up three days ago and uh, it's doing well. And there's also this uh, this code if you want uh, if you want to buy it. And that gives you 45% off. And yeah, ML McLeod, ML probably means like uh, Manning Launch or something like that. And this is, of course, that's my last name, my surname. So um, yeah, it looks like this. Um, if you don't know uh, how Manning works, they have this program called MEEP, which is Manning Early Access Program. There it is. And uh, what they do is uh, when a book is uh, it's about one third done, then they, uh, they put it online and say, okay, here's the book that we have for now. And when you buy it, you buy the, uh, the completed book. And, uh, but in the meantime, it's not quite done. So you get the, uh, the first seven chapters and then it adds chapter and chapter as soon as they're done. And, um, so it looks like this. And so, uh, this is, uh, originally based on, um, on easy rest, which, uh, which of course everybody here knows on my channel anyway. Um, and then Manning is more about like, um, well, it's, it's ending up about twice the size. Uh, it's a lot more detailed, uh, a lot more, there's a lot of feedback and, uh, and like people pointing out stuff that's that's super obvious in retrospect, like uh, I don't know, stuff that uh, that you need extra pairs of eyes to see, but once you can see it, it's it's super obvious. So there's that, and lots of graphics. Now graphics, what they so Manning likes to have graphics, which makes sense because it's a book. Uh, where's that Egyptian one? Um, trying to find the. Uh, Maybe it's here. Where is the Egyptian character? There you go. So this is um, this is a good example of uh, how they work. So what you do is you you make the graphics yourself, uh, but they don't. Uh, this is not going to be what it looks like in the final product. It, it's uh, the Manning people come in and they they make it nicer later on, but they don't do it until the end of the book because there might be changes in structure and. Uh, it's uh, it's not very you know it's an, it's annoying to um, to make a whole graphic and then decide that you don't need it. So what you do is you wait for the book to almost be done, and then at the very end they come in and they and they make it a lot nicer. So this graphic here is just something I put together with uh, <clears throat> MS Paint. You can see uh, very MS Painty, and this is just showing how um, how bytes work. So if you have like a regular ASCII character, it's one byte. Latin extended is two. Uh, if you get into like uh, hancha, uh, kanji, hanzu, then uh, you have <clears throat> that's three bytes, and then into the uh, the wacky stuff like hieroglyphs, uh, it gets up to four bytes, which is why a char is always four bytes because they need to be able to express any of these. So there's that, and then the interesting part of this video is uh, in addition to the having the book to uh, to show you. Is that I'm going to add two chapters, I think, probably, well, probably two, possibly one, and maybe even three. And that is because um, originally Easy Rust ends on macros because macros are one of the hardest parts of Rust, and so I put that put it at the end. But now it's uh, a book is more of a, more of a narrative, and it's kind of kind of weird to say, yeah, macros are totally different, or macros are pretty weird, and. Uh, Hopefully you like macros and that's the end of the book, which is kind of like a, a funny way to end it. So what I want to do is, um, so here in, let's see, 17 to like 19, that's where uh, it starts to get into external crates and it just shows one at a time. So the most popular ones, like there's requests, there's surdy, there's, uh, I forget the other ones, but there's, I think there's like 12 or so that get introduced. And what would be nice is, um, is uh, if after the macros are over, to have like a small set of like, almost like cookbook length uh, projects. They're not, like the book is not project based, but like these incomplete projects that do work, but are not quite done and kind of make the reader want to um, to pick it up and run with it. And one example, well, I'll show you what this, um, it, it'll be similar to this. So there's this thing called uh, the Rust Cookbook and it shows you a bunch of, uh, ways to uh you know use postgres or um character sets what's an interesting one argument parsing ansi terminal 
So all this stuff, and it's um, some of them are really small, some of them are a little bit bigger, and I think they'll the, the um, <clears throat> they'll end up being maybe about this size here. So probably about that big. And so I'm looking for, or I'm, I'm taking requests. If anybody um, has some uh, some ideas, the uh, the only one that uh, that I definitely want to do so far is uh, cross term use that to do like a typing tutor. So um, you'll have like a, you paste in like a, a text, uh, piece of text that you want to type and then uh, you start typing and then it'll it'll match on the events. And then if it's correct, then it'll show up in white. And if it's wrong, then it'll show up in red and probably use ANSI term to make it show up in red uh, if it's wrong. And then I think um, I'll leave it. So it'll work like that. It'll show you if you're right or wrong and it'll probably time you. And then, um, but that's it. And I think maybe it won't even clear the screen. So it'll just like, it'll fill up the screen with line after line. And then maybe at the end, it'll have like suggestions. Like if you want to make this look nicer, uh, you can use the crate TUI, or you can do this to, uh, to give the, the, uh, the terminal a command that'll clear the screen. So it'll have like two or three, uh, ideas for the reader to, to maybe pick up and, uh, and go with that. So that, um, yeah, so that'll uh, add quite a bit over here. And yeah, the book will probably, so that'll probably show up, those new chapters will probably show up in a few months. And you can see this is a, it says publication in fall 2023 estimated, which I think is a good estimate. And then this is also the estimated number of pages, which is about twice that of uh, Easy Rust. So yeah. Um, so probably not many videos in the near future too, but uh, but you will see new chapters and uh, maybe if I find time, then I'll then I'll do a few videos. And I'm also making uh, little notes as uh, as Rust gets uh, updated for uh, for things to update. Like for example, in Rust 1.67, which is coming out soon, uh, cross term uh, the create cross term is getting merged into. Uh, the standard library channels. So that is going, the, the section on channels uh, is going to be re rewritten a bit. And then there's uh, some other things I haven't added yet, like uh, there's if let um, array from fn, there's uh, making an array from uh, fn as in function. Uh, and you can make iterators from functions from fn again. So there's, um, so I'm making notes and I'm going to, uh, to add that as well. So yeah, that's how, uh, that's how things are going. And I hope you like the book.